Ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the video today, I'd like to say thank you for liking and subscribing. So please, if you have the opportunity today, make sure and hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget, hit the notification bell down below so that you can be notified when I post new content. Okay, so let's get started on today's video. So I think the GM engineers kind of made a little bit of a faux pas, a mistake. So not learning from the past with the C7 Corvette where the cup holders were horrible and never held anything. And if you know that if you own a C7 like I do, whenever you hit the brakes, the gas pedal, or you make a left or right turn, pretty much sit in the car. That if you have a, anything in the cup holders, it's going to spill. And a few times I've had drinks spill into the center console and got onto the selector switch for the modes, for the driving modes, and onto the emergency brake. And it was extremely difficult to clean all of the fluids out of the center console. Pretty much had to take it apart just to get it all clean and stop the knob, selector knob from sticking and whatnot. So with the C8 Corvette, it seems as if the GM engineers have done the exact same thing and not learned from the mistakes of the past. So now you have your electronic automatic shift controls and your selector knob in a recess with several nooks and crannies and crevices for fluids to get into. And right behind those two uh, pieces of equipment, you have cup holders which I have not tested the C8 cup holders. So I'm not 100% sure of how, how much better they are than the C7's cup holders. But I can assure you that they're probably not that great and probably extremely shallow, just like the C7 Corvette. I can pretty much tell you that the second that you spill anything into those crevices, into those areas, you're done. Uh, electronics and fluids don't mix very well. Now I would hope that the GM engineers found some way to protect these two devices so that you don't have to replace them, which is probably going to be really expensive. But I doubt it. I could be wrong. But to place your mode selector knob basically in a small jacuzzi is not a good idea. And then to have your electronic automatic shift controls in a recess with lines around it designed specifically to help fluid get into the electronics probably not the best of ideas but let me know what you think about the controls and where the cup holders are in in relation to uh, these two devices and whether or not you think it was a good idea for them to make this same mistake that they made in the previous model Corvette with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you for liking Thank you for subscribing and please make sure and hit the bell below so that you can be notified when I post new content. Have a great weekend. Please be safe and don't forget to keep it under 100.